Tacos, it's Isa. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Isis. And for today's video, I thought I'd do something different. And honestly, I didn't know what I was gonna post this week. Like, I didn't do anything this week, so I'm like, crap, like, I can't vlog. I wanted to do pranks, so I'm like, I can't do the pranks. But I was like, oh crap, I have questions from a QA I was supposed to do for Vlogmas, but I didn't get to do that because a lot of technical difficulties with my old computer and like the whole entire getting used to the camera but i was like well dejan actually gave me the idea to do a q a so i was like wait that's perfect i can do my q a that i wanted to do for so 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 long but i'm like i want to do something else with this so i was like well, might as well do a mukbang so i have food and i have my pajamas on and i thought we can start this thing maybe like called pajama time or pajama talk let me know which one you guys like pajama talk with icy or pajama time with icy let me know but yeah, I thought we should have, like, I, uh, I thought that this would be a really, really cute idea. And we're just going to talk, eat, and do my q and So yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never post a new video. Make sure you follow all my social medias to be a part of the iSchool family and to connect with me outside of YouTube. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, y'all, like I said, so I went to um the mall today because I sold some sneakers, but I got Halal Bros. I ate half of it in the car, but honestly... This is a lot of food, so we still have a lot for this story time. Not story time. Um, Q and A. If you wanna know what I got, I got um the jerk chicken loaded fries, and it's just French fries, jerk chicken, pico, a little bit of jalapenos and cheese, and I put white sauce, spicy white sauce, barbecue sauce, and then the dragon sauce. So yeah, so we're just gonna do the Q and A. I'm like, that's so smart. And I think I have twenty. Twenty. I have ten questions that I'm gonna answer. Before when I was doing the Q and A, the problem was I thought I can answer every single question, which you're not supposed to do. You can't go through every question. You have to pick the ones that, that matter the most, or like the ones that you want to answer, and then you answer them. Obviously, I think we all know how the Q and A works. So yeah, cause I know y'all know I love my water, and I got my bed right there. So yeah. So the first question is, what made you want to become an influencer? So, if you guys didn't know, I feel like I've always loved social media. And the camera. I always act like I was posting on YouTube when I was 10, 11 years old. I just always been on social media. I've always been on TikTok. I've always been on Musical.ly, Dub Smash, Instagram, all that stuff. But... I just wanted to become an influencer and a content creator because I noticed how well my content does and like I really find enjoyment in doing content creating so why not take it seriously and I just feel like my role and my purpose is for people to not live through me but if you watched my last vlog of 2022 I talked about this real quick but it was just saying how like a lot of people can't do it because of confidence issues and a lot of stuff so I feel like I want people to enjoy and feel what they want to do through me. Like, I want to help them and build their confidence. And I just feel like I want to connect with people. And I want to make people happy. And I enjoy content creating to make people happy. And that's why I do it. I do it for you guys. Because your happiness brings me happiness. So, yeah. Mm. Also, I don't usually eat in my room. I always eat in my living room. Because I just feel like when I eat my room, I feel mad dirty. But I'm not about to make a YouTube video in my living room. That's weird. The next question is... Also, a lot of these questions are kind of like content creating based. Like, I got a lot of questions, but... I kind of want to ask a question that has to do with a lot of social media wise. Because I feel like a lot of people are curious about that. So I'm going to answer a majority of those. So yeah. The next question is, how is it being a brand ambassador for all the brands you post? Like, what are the pros? So, I'm a brand ambassador for quite a few brands. A candle business, a nail business. What else? Clothing. And honestly, I love it. It feels really fun. It not feels really fun. It's actually really fun. It is a lot of work to keep up with it, but it's 100% worth it because you're getting things in return. You're promoting their brand, you're going to get things in return. You're helping them bring customers. 
And yeah, I never really had a problem with it. <sighs> oh, let me get some of that water. <sighs> yeah. I never really had a problem with like struggling um, brand influencer wise. The only thing I will say is just make sure you're up to date with all the things you have to do. Because a lot of the times when you are a brand, in, uh, brand ambassador, you have deadlines. Not per se deadlines, but you have to promote a good amount of times a month. Like sometimes it's four times a month. Like you have a lot of requirements and you have to make sure you keep up with that. That's one thing, not really I struggle with, but there's, there's times that everyone's going to get lazy. But I always have to remember, like, Isis, this is your job. Like, this is what you have to do. But it's really fun, and I hope to become a lot of brand ambassadors for more. I hope to become a brand ambassador for more brands because I do enjoy a lot. The next question is, are you single? Yes. The answer is yes. Yes, I am single. And I'm not ready to mingle. And I don't want to mingle. Um, yeah, I'm kind of on the more smoking all my ex facts. And... Nah, I'm joking. Um, nah, but yeah, I'm chilling. I'm really just focusing on what I got to do. School, work, content creating, you guys. That's really my focus. And if a boy comes in my life at some point, then... Don't take me for granted because I will cut you off at any second in time. I don't waste no time with none of y'all. So. The next question is, how did you maintain your weight loss? Do you still struggle with your diet? So if you guys didn't know, well, you guys probably don't know. Well, I don't know. It's like 500 of you guys. So I don't know if you guys do know, but if you guys didn't know, I lost like 36 pounds, around 40 pounds. In 2020 during COVID, I just 2023. My highest, I was 189. And then my lowest was 153. I was 153 in 2021. Is it 2021? Yeah. I thought my lowest was like 153. And right now I'm like at 160. But the way I've maintained my diet and just like my weight. I don't think of it as a diet, I think of it as a lifestyle change because I completely cut out soda juice. That's the one thing, that's the main thing I did. I never was the type to eat like chips. I don't eat like chips and like all those stuff. I still eat cookies though. I still eat cookies and stuff like that, but not all the time. Like do it in moderation and always stay active. I haven't worked out in a long time. I need to get back in the gym soon or just some type of working out. I need to do that. But working out. It's just what I eat. Like this. Is 100% unhealthy. But it's like. Am I eating this twice a week. Three times a week. The last time I had this was like a month ago. So it's like. You know. Just don't consume yourself with all this. Unhealthy eating habits. Because you're not going to see results at the end of the day. Like. And if you want to maintain and have a balance of unhealthy foods and very healthy foods, and that's what I do. So, yeah. This question is, how long did it take you to grow your hair so long? Um, I My hair was always heat damaged when I was younger. And then in, like, sixth grade, I did a big chop. So, it was, like, right here, but it was, like, very damaged. And then I cut it to, like, right here. So, since sixth grade, I didn't put any heat on it for, like, three years, maybe, I would say. When I straightened it. But basically, I just always wore box braids. Always had a protective style. If you if you know me when I was younger or middle school, high school, I know I always had box braids in my head. I still do box braids, but not as often anymore because, I don't know, you know, you just, you know how you just kind of get tired of it very quickly? Like, I've been doing that for so long, every single month of the year. So I got tired of it. But... And I also want to wear my natural hair out more. So I'm just like, I work so hard on it. Like, you know, I want to start wearing it out more. So, yeah, I would say a box brace, protector styling, not too much heat. If you're doing wigs, make sure it's like you're doing, like, you're make sure your hair is protected, basically. But, yeah, and my natural hair routine is actually very lazy. 
I actually start, I have to start caring more for my natural hair. My hair is very generic, but I literally use Cantu on my hair. Don't ask no questions. Yes, I use Cantu. It works for me. If it don't work for you, I, I don't know what to tell you, but it works for me. So, yeah. The next question is, how do you keep a positive mindset? So, I kind of struggled with that a lot for a long, long, long time. But what I realized in order to not have a, not, I don't have a positive mindset. I just don't have a negative mindset. When it comes to like my career and everything and like where I'm going to be and stuff like that, I'm always a okay with that. Like I never really struggled with like doubt with stuff like that with my, my content creating. Everything like that. For some reason, I just never doubt that. When it comes to like tough esteem and all that stuff like that, 100% I struggle with that. So I wouldn't say I have a positive mindset, I just don't have a negative mindset. And the one thing that helps with it is staying distracted. Like having this job plus an actual like 9 to 5 job I guess. Or just an actual like, you, you guys know what I mean. Like just having a job that's going to keep you busy or something that's keeping you busy and distracted. You won't have time to think about, you won't have time to think. <laughs> that's big, you won't have time to think. So you don't have enough time to think, you will have time to think of negative things. Boom. So all those negative thoughts, you won't even get the chance to really think about it. That's why a lot of people say, like, when it's time for, like, to lay down, that's when they really get the most sad because they have the most time to think about their thoughts. But I would literally just say always stay busy and always stay distracted. Because you won't have time to think about any of those negative thoughts. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Trust me, I know. you got to stay busy. You have to... Keep doing something to get your mind off of what you don't want to think of. So yeah, that's what I would say. Stay distracted. And then, you want to have to think of negative thoughts? No thoughts. Oh. The next question is, what is your traits you like in a guy? Okay. Traits I like in a guy... Probably, I wouldn't say I'm picky. I don't say I'm picky, but I definitely have a high standard. Like, I hate bums. Like, let me elaborate on that. Like, I hate when boys don't have nothing. I hate when people, I hate when boys don't have nothing going for themselves. And it's okay if you don't want to have a job right now. Or, like, again, if it's okay if you don't have, like, a 9 to 5 job or whatever. But you have to be doing something that's gonna make your life worth it if that makes sense like I cannot be the only person who's succeeding and making money and all this stuff yes money no money is like that's the main thing like I can't even lie to y'all and say money doesn't matter but like if you're not making your own money and really doing something for yourselves then that's already like a no like that's already a dub. Like, y'all cannot tell me different. Like, I know y'all wouldn't want to have someone that doesn't have motion. And it's okay to have slow motion. Slow motion is better than no motion. But I know y'all, and I can say, like, I don't want someone who don't have no motion. Like, come on. Like, y'all got to do something. Like, sitting home and not having no life. Like, you're, like, you're wasting my time and you're wasting yours. Like, I'm not going to be the only money getter, go getter in a relationship. So probably someone who really don't have no aspirations or no, like, for themselves. Um, well, that's what I don't like. That's a treat I don't like, but what I do like. Just, just, I feel like the base is respectful, nice. She's like a princess, a queen, like, I don't know. Someone who's just, like, all about me, like, if you're all about me, <laughs> like, stop, like, why do you care about me so much? <laughs> like, if you really care about, like, me and only me, like, <laughs> like, I would really fall head, head over heels, like, I love that. So yeah, probably just someone who's all about me and really just got their head on right. Don't like to argue. And it's really good vibes and tan lines. I love good vibes. So yeah. The next question is, what's one place you want to go to? I forgot I got food. Oh, you see why I don't eat my bed? Because I just washed it, bro. I just washed these sheets. Oh, anyways. The next question is, what is one place you want to go to? 
I have a list of all the places I want to go to, actually. Well, not I want to go to. I am going to in 2023 this year. Um, no, 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 no. All right, so I would say the two, the top three places I want to go to this year is Greece, Bali, and what's the Turks and Caicos. If you guys watch Too Hot to Handle, if you guys didn't know, Too Hot to Handle is filming Turks and Caicos, and that water, like me and my cousin were watching it, it's the beautiful. Like I was like, there's no way. Like I have to go. Like I need to go to Turks and Caicos. So definitely Greece. Did I say Bali Bora Bora? Bo either one of those and Turks and Caicos. But Turks and Caicos is my main one. Like, I want to go to Turks and Caicos so bad. Like, it's so freaking pretty. The next question is, what is your current favorite song? And I honestly have so much favorite songs. I'm not going to lie to you. But right now, as of right now to this day, <laughs> either it's going to be always Let's Get Married. Oh, wait. No, we're definitely going to go to SZA's album. My favorite song, it's definitely going to be Notice Me. Oh my god, guys. Stop. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I'm just trying to be your person. I still wonder if you notice me. Yeah, so Notice Me is probably going to be my favorite song right now at the moment. Or probably Let's Get Married. I feel like that song's always going to be a classic. Let's Get Married by Party Next Door. I love this song so much, guys. I'll make you feel like forever when it's temporary. Let's get married. So yeah, probably notice me or let's get married by Party Next Door. Definitely my top two, my favorite songs at the moment right now. They're probably never gonna change, but probably the Party Next Door songs never gonna change. But right now, SZA has been on repeat every single day, and I'm going to her concert, and I'm so excited. So yeah, definitely. Next question is, what is your biggest regret in life? And why? So, me personally, I always say I have no regrets in life. I feel like everything we do, we do it for a purpose. And it's as a lesson. Like, let's say I do this to someone or something happens to me where I make that decision. I'm not going to regret it because it teaches me a lesson never to do it again. I'm kind of done with it. I don't know. It's still kind of good. But, and also, I do things with thinking. I think before I do it so I don't have any regrets. That's like the one thing. I feel like a lot of people when they have regrets, they don't think before they do. And they think about it like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. I really don't face that. I always think about what I want to do so I don't be like, damn, I wish I didn't do that. But probably the one regret I regret that I will say I have is probably just listening to a lot of people's comments about me. I'm a very sensitive person. A lot of people don't realize that about me because I'm so outgoing, I guess. But I'm really sensitive, so when people talk about me, I I tend to really listen to it and overanalyze it, and it starts to feel like they are correct. So probably I just regret listening to a lot of people and what they had to say to me, because not to say to me, but about me. I feel like that's something I do regret, because I shouldn't have done that. I should have just focused on myself and not listen to people. At this moment, I really don't listen to people because... I don't know. The hate's been really low lately, which is really good. I haven't been getting a lot of hate. Maybe because I'm not in high school anymore. And I don't really, I don't, like, people don't see me enough to be talking about me. But, yeah, probably that's why. But hopefully it stays like that because, yeah, it was really unnecessary. I don't got time for that. And the last question is, what advice can you give to seniors in high school about to apply for colleges? Mind you, this question, these questions were asked in December, so now I'm answering it again. But, Hopefully, if you guys didn't apply for colleges or you guys still apply for colleges, I would just say make sure you do what you want to do. Don't listen to anybody else when it comes to your decision. And I know like at 6, not 6, I'm like 17, 18, you guys really don't know what you want to do in life. I struggle with that 100%. But I would say the best thing to honestly do is figure out what you want to do or at least have like a generalization of what you want and Try not to go for undecided and liberal arts because it's just going to be a waste of time. Like, yes, you're going to get your core classes, but you're it's going to be a waste. Like, like me, I went as liberal arts and I went to more. Well, first I went to Morgan for business and I decommitted. So I was doing liberal arts at another school in New York. But I realized what I wanted to do halfway into this first semester. 
So then I was just in a school I didn't want to be in. And I had to, tr now I transferred. So now I'm going to a different school, what the major I actually want to do. So it's just like, make sure you have a thought process of what you want to do. It's okay if you don't because it's 100% normal. No one's forcing you to choose what you want to do for the rest of your life at that moment. You can always change it. But just have a generalization thought and do a lot of research of the schools you want to go to, I would say. And yeah, just do what you want to do basically. And it's all going to work out. So. So that was the whole pajama talk or pajama time with Icy or Isis. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys vote which name you guys like. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with my monk bang in it. I didn't finish my food. It's a little bit too thin. Like food like this is too much. Like I cannot eat. This is the only thing I had today, and I'm full as hell. Like my stomach is killing me. But anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never post a new video. Make sure you follow all my social medias to connect with me, become an icicle, and also be a part of another Q&A that I do in the future or anything else because I always ask my Instagram and mainly my Instagram. I mainly use my Instagram for all this stuff. And yeah, my Snapchat, TikTok. Make sure you follow all those stuff to be a part of anything that I need you guys for. And yeah, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye, guys. See that, need you running my space, but I